All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning about two-way data binding in Angular. So let's say a user is entering a form, then it is possible in Angular to have a live preview using two-way data binding. So we can change our data property and simultaneously display the data property in our view. For example, let's say we have two input fields the user is going to enter. Let, it, let that be the first name, so first name and a last name. Okay, now the user is going to enter that as a form, so let's create two input boxes. Input type is equal to text and another input for the last name, so type is equal to text. Okay, so in Angular, whenever we have to make use of two-way data binding, then we make use of the ng model directive. So we assign to the ng model the property which we want to bind. So ng model is equal to first name and codes, of course. And the second ng model is equal to the last name. Now, ng model has to be wrapped with parentheses and square brackets. So, parentheses and square brackets. Now, why? If you recollect, we had event binding specified by parentheses and property data binding, which was specified by these square brackets. So, this is two-way data binding. We are going to be making use of both event binding and the property data binding. So whenever the first name and last name property changes, the view is getting updated. And whenever the view changes, the property gets updated. So let's use interpolation to display this as a live preview. So we are going to have a first name and last name. Now when you save this and the browser is reloaded then we are going to have two input boxes over here and then the full name which is going to be automatically displayed when you start entering something. So let's say hello and if you if you check here it is going to have it is going to behave like a live preview. Hello world. So that is how two-way data binding works. And in the next video, let us start learning about directives. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.